Hello, beautiful. Do you ever just wake up in the morning and think, I wanna do some Renaissance hair? Hi, um, so I'm over here editing this video right now. I realized something. I say Renaissance instead of Victorian during this video. I apologize. This video is about Victorian era. Lock me up and put me in a jail cell. Um, I didn't pay attention in history. It's Victorian, it's not the Renaissance, okay? So next time I won't that up, but this time just ignore every single time I say renaissance and replace it with Victorian, all right? Thank you. I woke up this morning and was like, the renaissance is calling my name. Actually though, I get recommended a lot of renaissance themed videos on YouTube and TikTok. There must be something going on with my algorithm that's telling me, Brad, this is for you and you're gonna like it. And in fact, I do like it. So I started looking up some images and realized this it's complicated. The stuff that they do to their hair in this time period was magnificent. They look statuesque like this and this and this and this. I've been trying to dissect these looks for the last day. Some of them I just like can't even figure out what is going on because the pictures are pixelated. You don't see a ton of detail. So I'm gonna give it my best shot doing these looks, but I know that I'm going to end up crying. It could go well, it could go really bad, but I'm hoping it's somewhere in between. I guess now I have to actually do the hair. What a random video. Let's do it. Okay, so I got my computer here and let's pull up some looks and let's just decide what I'm doing today, first of all. So I have this first one. I understand what's going on here a little bit. I don't know what that fuzzy is in the front of her hair. This one looks much more doable. Um, she definitely has some cute little bangs. They all have those like sideburns going on. Like, I don't really know why. Um, then she has this braid that kind of wraps around her head. Then we have this, which looks the most doable, I think. However, still looks extremely difficult. These curls, girl, woo, she said, give me the, I don't know what's going on at the top of her head. I think there's just like braids like wrapped around the top. I don't know, can't figure this one out, don't wanna do it. This one looks the simplest. She looks gorgeous. And also the choker, like give me that. This one, she's not really pulling it off very well, but I'm into it and that has to be like a hairpiece extension thing going on, that big loaf of bread going around her head and the top. I think I wanna try this. This looks like three day old like hair that needed to be redone, but she had a photo shoot that day and she just had to do it and she just didn't have time to do her hair. Like something happened with this one. I feel bad for this girl. This is not your luck, sweetie. No, mm -mm, no girl. I think what I'm gonna start with today is something that I feel the most confident in, this photo. Now we have a braid going on. I don't have hair that's that long, but I'm, going to do something similar to this. I like the little bump it going on in the front and then the buns going on. I feel like I can accomplish this. Hello, Miss Many Quenos. So I don't exactly have a mannequin that has like darker hair, but you're gonna get over it. Uh, Cause I'm already over it. Uh, usually people back then, they didn't with hair like this. We're gonna do it and you're gonna ignore the fact that her hair is bright blonde. Does that sound good? It's good? Okay, cool. So this is your look over here, Miss, M Miss Many Quinn. What? You hate it? That sucks. We're doing it anyways. Don't care what you have to say. I've told you that before and I'll tell you it again. So her hair doesn't look curly like in that picture and I'm feeling like they used her natural texture to kind of form these croissants, if you will, within her head and kind of just did something like that and pinned it. But her hair needs to be smoothed out. So I think I'm just gonna smooth out her hair, do a little bit of round brushing and I'll be right back. Okay, blowout. Complete. So where do I begin? Okay, let's dissect this thing. My brain isn't working today. The plan is brewing and I'm getting the sensation that I need to put her hair up into multiple ponytails, I think. <laughs> okay, we need to put the hair up, obviously, but we need some volume in the front. So what I'm gonna do is section out a little bit up here, like a little triangle like that. I think that's, is that even? Okay, so we're gonna section that out and I'm gonna pull the rest of the hair back and we're gonna tease the and we're gonna create this little bump up here. Uh, once I get to the front, I don't think I'm gonna tease that part. That way we have a little bit of hair to lay over this so it doesn't look ugly and like all knotted and I'm starting to see the vision come alive already and I'm only on the first step. <laughs> we're gonna give it a little bit of separation because that is what our model has. Okay, now I'm gonna section the hair out behind the ears and pull this hair back. I'm just trying to like perfect this little bump it moment going on here. Okay, I just f***ed it up. <laughs> I'm only on step two, Miss Manny Quinn. You can't let me down now. Listen, if I can do this today, y'all need to stop telling me I'm not a real hairdresser. <laughs>
We're gonna do another little ponytail right here. That looks good enough, you know what? Today's all about the phrase, good enough. Okay, I'm gonna live by that today. We would now sort of take the hair and do some rapid -dos around my fingers. This would be easier if I just curled the hair, but I don't wanna curl the hair. It's just adding an extra step and I don't wanna do this all night long. I think I should curl it. What I created is not the reference photo, so I have to redo it. I am sweating very badly right now because when I film, I cannot have the air conditioning on because uh, it's too loud. And just like that, all my work is gone. I'm removing the jacket, guys, I can't. Oh, hey, so I had a mental breakdown and I don't want to talk about it. So here's what we have so far. I decided to go for a little bit more of an interpretation. This is really hard. Um, I don't know if I like it. Uh, this is a lot. It's really hard to tell what the f*** is going on with her hair too, based off of one photograph from the side of her head. We're doing our best. My perfectionism is getting to me. It's proving to be just as difficult, if not more difficult than I thought it was going to be. It's really horrifying how hard it is. But I've learned something throughout this process so far, and that is that these looks need a lot of teasing because they are like built up on themselves. They need to have a very um, good structure inside in order to start stacking the But like, we're getting something. Like my girl here could have lived back then and like got away with it, you know? We could like put her in a little time machine and she could be pooped out. And I feel like people wouldn't look twice at her or they would and they'd be like, girl, who's your hairstyle? And they'd be like, Ramondo. I'm just leaving these little curly cues out. Um, also this in this picture, um, she also had beautiful flowers going on in her hair and I don't have flowers. And I honestly feel like those flowers were covering up a lot of like the ugliness. I don't know, it just looked too perfect. So yeah, I'm teasing the underneath of the hair and then I'm just wrapping it around my finger and kind of just making like these buns. I think these are gonna be my last buns down here until I go into this like braided moment. These structures, they definitely like spend most of the time just like teasing the hair because what I'm realizing is that they didn't have extensions back then. So I don't know where all that hair was coming from um, because it looks like a ton of hair, but I'm pretty sure they just teased the f out of their heads to make it look like these women had like so much hair. So what I'm gonna do is take the rest of this hair and do that sort of like twisty twist that you see on the bottom of this woman. So I'm just gonna tease this hair like a ton and then I'm just gonna brush it out. Really get that hair looking like it's full as sh and then maybe we're just gonna leave that teasing in there a bit. All right, so that we have that really thick looking hair going on. And then we'll do the same thing to the other side. And if you're wondering if I've lost my mind completely, the answer is always yes. Now it almost looks like her hair is pinned up back there as well. Okay, and then we're gonna take our two pieces and it looks like it's just really like loosely um, twisted. And we'll just give it a little back comb at the bottom so it stays. Okay, here it is, the final look. Honestly, let's talk about this because I'm proud of it. Like, I feel like she could get away with this. Like if she, what? Girl, I know you're drunk, but like, sit up. I feel like if she was teleported back in time, the Victorian era, she would fit in and people would not look twice or they would in like the best way possible. Like, I feel like she looks and I feel like it's cute. It's giving me a little early 2000s with the bump it in the front. But other than that, it's kind of nice. This is really out of my comfort zone. Like I love loose, undone, punky looking stuff. So doing something like this with no hair extensions or anything, like it was a lot for me. I'm gonna be honest, but I'm kind of satisfied with the look that has been created. Even though I lost my mind, if I had flowers put in this, like imagine, it would bring the look all together. I'm sad to see this masterpiece go, but I think it's time to try one more look and hopefully I can do it a little bit better this time. Okay, we're gonna do another Victorian updo. I've completely lost my mind and I want it back. Like, can you give me my brain back, like give it to me. So now you already know that I've already lost my mind. What we're gonna do is something that's gonna make me lose my mind even more. Okay, at first glance, you're probably thinking, Brad, this looks easier. Let me explain to you why it's harder. What the f 
is going on in this photo? And how am I supposed to recreate it? Because I have literally no idea what's going on. Is it a bird's nest or is it an updo? I don't know. So for me, being a very much perfectionist, there is nothing perfect about this updo and there's really no structure or anything really going on. So trying to um, do something that looks similar to that is going to be nearly impossible. <laughs> this is going to come up bad. Like I wanna make it known to everybody that this is not gonna look good. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, I literally don't know. I feel like she has this sort of like nest up here. So I'm gonna start there. And we're gonna go in and we're gonna tease because that helps everything in the in this um, Victorian hairstyling moment we're doing today. Okay, so it seems like she has this really large like bun. You know, like something like that in the middle of this hairdo. If I can just like bust this out right now, bust it. Bless it. Like, I would be so happy. So now I think what she has is like a sort of braid moment going around her head. Yeah, there it is. It's giving me prom 2010 right now, you know? I feel like people weren't doing braids like this though. Like, why does mine look like too current? Ooh, that's kind of fun. We can pin that right up here. I'm just like, let's, let's have fun with this. I just to look good. <sighs> what did I do here? I lifted the hair up. Okay, if you say so. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Oh my God. Okay, we have a little structure going on, a little something. Now we have these pieces here that I don't really know what I was planning on doing with. I feel like they would do something like that. I'm going on my own at this point. Okay, we're gonna tease the sh out of this hair and I'm just gonna wrap this around my fingers and we're gonna pin it into place back here. Also, I'm trying to give it that like messy feel. Oh, that looks Victorian. Ah! Wait, why is this like low key fun though? Just wait, this is gonna get way more Victorian as I go. So I can't tell at this point if this is Victorian or I've just lost my mind. I think it's the second one, but we're just gonna go with it. Okay, I'm gonna now like pin this here because that's what they did. Like they did like that, I think. I mean, damn girl. I am going to curl the back of her hair and hope for the best. I'm kind of getting something here. So I'm gonna continue to do this. And voila, here it is. Ooh. Well, nobody sees that anyways, right? Like, it's fine. She'd really be posing like this, I feel like, if she were taking a photo. And like, you have to admit that looks Victorian. Come on, give me a little credit here. Come on. Like, from the back, this is how she looked. Like, it was messy, it wasn't perfect, and I definitely feel like they all had these like weird curls in the front like she has right now. This actually like ended up being really fun. It gives me that feeling that that picture gave me, which was that kind of like messy but refined feel. I don't know. I'm giving it my best. Even like one side we could do. Ooh, yeah. Like imagine. This is my second look and my second attempt at Victorian hair. And I feel like this one is giving me serious Victorian energy. I'm into it though. You look sick, girl. I hope you like your hair for your um, Victorian party tonight. What? You're not going to a Victorian party? Oh. That sucks, you're gonna take it out yourself. Okay, I'll see you later. My mental health has rapidly declined since the beginning of this video, I will be honest with you, but I feel a sort of... I was gonna say happiness, but I don't really feel that happy. I actually just feel like that was a lot for me. I don't think I was supposed to live in the Victorian era. So I'm gonna stay here. Y'all can do whatever you want over there. Cause that shit was hard. It was low key like fun though. It also like helped with my creativity flow. I feel inspired a little bit. It was definitely out of my comfort zone, but I think I did something. So I'm satisfied. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already right down below. Click the like button and the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. Make sure you follow me everywhere else here on my social media handles. Mm -hmm. Go for it. If you'd like to check out my hair care line, you can do so right now at xmodohair.com. We have hair color and hair care. My hair color currently is super red and super orange mixed together, and I am obsessed with it. You can also get some hair inspiration on our Instagrams at xmodohair for hair care and at xmodocolor for color. Check out my Live Your Extra Life merch. It is so damn cute.
cute. It's so comfy. I wear it literally every day of my life. You can shop it now with the link down below or at xmodohair.com. Make sure you text me at this number right here. This is really connected to my phone. Yes, I really do see some of your messages. And yes, I'll be texting back a few of you if you text me right now. This will also keep you notified every time I post a new video. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Steph. She says, hi, Brad. I feel very bored with my hair. I've had every color at least once, probably every cut too. I just don't know what suits me best. Help. Okay. Okay. I love this haircut on you. I feel as though you should do a middle part, do some curtain bangs, add some layering, and do a color that's like a mix between brown and blonde. A bronze, if you will. Um, like a darker root and lighter ends sort of moment like this. That would look best. I would love to see your hair if you do anything to it. And good luck. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.